Hello again and welcome back to Legally Excited. This is Jesse aka BGFH and I'm back for another VR game video. Only this time we're looking at something that's actually in early access. Um, but I wanted to cover it anyway because A, even for an early access title, it seems really incredibly polished. Uh, and it's fun. Uh, it's one of the best first person um, shooters slash horror games I've played so far. And we are looking at a game called A-Tech Cybernetic. A-T-E-C-H Cybernetic. And like I said, it is a first person kind of a shooter slash survival horror kind of a thing. And it's pretty cool. The other reason I wanted to cover this is because, check this out. I'm going to bring up my menu here. And how many times, especially with Oculus Touch titles, how many times have I had trouble and complained about not being able to read option screens, menus, interfaces? Um, one of the things that I've reiterated over and over is having, even in the presentation that I did uh, last year, um, having head tracking for every aspect of a VR experience from start to finish, start to close of app. And so far, this game does exactly that. I've got my left hand here. I'm holding this little uh, menu interface up, a la like Minority Report or whatever. And the only thing that I would say is maybe they could have a little bit of a uh, transparency, a little less transparency, like so you could see. Basically what I could do is I could move the text over a part of the environment to give myself better contrast. But if I hold it up here, you can see that it's, eh, the contrast is a little bit harder to read. However, look at this, I have free motion. I can move this option screen, even cutting off, like I can go, okay, there's back, there is uh, graphics, there's audio, and I can s literally take it and slide it over and I can read the, I can read everything. Like it, it's great. You know, even if I wanted to go into one of these options, I take my other hand, I point. There we go. And now I have a separate option screen, all nice and large, big enough things that I can click on. The only thing that I haven't figured out is I got this little button here, but it doesn't seem to want to do anything. Like I can't, I can't slide it. I see the slider and I would like to slide it to smaller increments. I would actually prefer uh, smooth turning. I wish they had a way, you know, you have from anywhere from 45 degrees or, okay, yeah, so you got a whole bunch of stuff. We're, or we're at 45. We can go all the way up to 90 or down to five. Um, I would actually prefer one more, you know, nitpicky thing. You just have one option that says smooth turning because right now, I have my right analog stick with my touch controller set to turning. Um, I can also have it set to teleport, which is kind of like how I did it in Robo Recall, where you, you put a teleport point out there, you flick your, your analog stick, and you get the little circle with the arrow in it on the ground. Um, and it works, but I prefer, especially with the full movement, free movement, I prefer to have you know, make it work like a regular console shooter, console game, where you have left moves, right turns smoothly. So this is early access, so they could still put that in. Uh, so if you're watching their developers, uh, put a little checkbox in there, or put a little smooth turning uh, thingy in there for me. That'd be great. And I know a lot of advanced other, other advanced VR users would also like such a feature. So that is, again, one of the reasons I really wanted to cover this because it's a perfect example, not just of like a little gimmicky short experience. This is actually a big game. Um, and it's just really well thought out. And the rest of the interface is actually in the environment itself. You have your little bit of menu where you need it, but then everything else is handled within the environment itself. So let's go back into our game here. And okay. Uh, come on, there we go. So we're move. We're looking around. We're moving. I'm just looking around. 
and there's our entryway there we're not gonna leave but uh, so we could do the tutorial but we're not going to um, this quick play I played a little bit I it's okay but I haven't really gotten into it so far basically it's like a wave based survival thing you try to kill as many zombies as you can kind of a deal I might show that off uh, before we do the video but our main thing I want to concentrate on is so we can look at look through here some dudes walking around um, let's go into the main game here and yeah so let's go here it, it, this isn't the recording it, it chops up here when I go into this area so here is where we choose our Let's just look around the environment really quick. Got our little uh, bar stools or tables here. Um, but yeah, free movement. I can get as close as I want to to anything. There we go. So I can choose difficulty. I definitely want easy because I'm. A, I, I foresee myself getting my ass kicked. Okay, I think that should. Okay, that should do it. Ah. Hey, wake up! Who are you and how did you get in my head? Yes, I'm talking to you. You took my body! <laughs> Don't believe me? Raise your hands. These are my hands, actually. I guess we're stuck together. That's a shame. But, well, I might be able to use you. What's that noise when I say your name? See, at first I thought that meant we that should get it was out like here. Yes, you have the to open the drawer. Well, we have to open the drawer. All right. So now we there's your there's your intro. We don't know what's going on. We're apparently some I don't know AI or I don't know some person or whatever I don't know, but we're inhabiting some other body apparently with uh, telekinesis hands. No, uh, no, I don't. We just have the hands. I don't have the full arms, but they're pretty cool looking. Got the whole silver looking, silver and black. That's pretty cool, right? Again, I can grab that. These little uh, tablets here. And they are readable, um, but the problem is this text is a little bit smaller. So with my crappy vision, I can kind of read it, but I have to struggle a little bit with the resolution that's in the headset. Um, it's just the way my vision is. And if I get too close, you know, see it kind of it kind of bleeds into your head or it kind of like disappears. Um, but I mean, I can read it, but it's not hopefully super important. Um, one of two so again i can use the i should be able to use the ah oh well anyway who cares uh, i never read those things anyways um we're here to explore and kill stuff right so let's open up our drawers as he asked we got our little diamond mission objective here open drawers or open drawer -a. i take that card store it or just use it at the panel now open the door. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. That's... Hold on. Oh, that's interesting. Um, okay. One thing I didn't realize is that apparently if I change... I was going to show you another game mechanic, but... Oh, wow. Okay, so I can still, if I click in the stick, I can still teleport. Um... But when I... Usually before, if I held in the trigger uh, or the, the grip button... It was kind of a, um, let me switch that back because I want to see something here.
teleport. See how nice it is when I can just accessibly change? Now, what the hell? Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe I don't have that ability yet. Okay, maybe it's the, I'm kind of in like the tutorial area. Because what you would normally do is to pick up things, um, you could do a little beam and it would kind of like, you could kind of pull things towards you. Why is that disabled though? Okay, let me switch back. Because I like turning a little bit better than teleport. Okay. Now, okay. So, we got our door. We can go out. Wow, <laughs> quite a mess. What the hell are you? Oh, I right. I feel you in my head if you control my body. And what's that? We need to store this to access the entry. Yeah, gate. now I've got my little beam thingy. Okay. I'm like, what the hell? Why don't? Why can't I do it? Because I was going to show you the, the grab mechanic. Now I have this thing, and I can point at something and grab it, which is really great, especially if you are... Now, they say this game is supposedly like you want to play it standing or room scale. I am sitting down because, again, I've tried it stand, standing and I've tried it sitting. It works both ways. Um, but what I'm, you know, I, like I said, I also want to test for people who have other disabilities. If you can't stand for a long period of time or if you're in a wheelchair, um, I want to look at that potential accessibility as well. So, and if you're in a small area, sometimes like when my space, if I try to bend down and pick something up, it kind of glitches because my cameras don't track it quite right. So instead, I can grab this and go, it'll shoot it right up to my hand. So, uh, let's go in here. Okay, we got a room, we got some stuff on the table. And what I also really like is you'll soon see, okay, okay, well, I can grab this, another tablet, cool. Uh, ooh, what else do we got here? Anything, oh, let's... Okay, grab some ammo. That's pretty much what we're going to find these days. Yeah, that didn't, oh, that didn't go well. <laughs> Poor guy. All right. Um, we're going to get our first weapon here in a moment. And what I want to show you is also I like. Have a look around. We have to find some kind of weapon. Right. Now, the cool thing is you see that little, even in the distance, you see that little kind of pillar of light. They're color coded, I guess, depending on like what kind of item they are. So I can grab. now we're talking. Yeah, and look at this. I have an ammo count right on there, 24. Yeah, okay, cool. So we've got our ammo count on our pistol. That we got. Now before I open this next door, what I want to find out is. Uh-oh, where did it go? Okay, so it put it in my... Um, so I can holster this because I have this weapon now. I can bring it down to my side, let go. Now I have my hand free, but if I reach down again, I can pick it up again. So I'll, And I can do that with my left hand too. So if I have two different things, I can do the same thing. All right, so let's kill our first zombie, shall we? Hey, buddy. Okay. And then I just bring it down to my side, back up. I've reloaded my weapon. So we're pretty good right now. Let's holster it up. And now I can explore. So let's do some exploring. So again, we got another pillar here. I can even be back here. Shoo! I grabbed it. We're good. So again, somebody, you know, you're thinking about it for convenience or just, you know, having it. You have the pillar so it's easier to see, pillar of light. 
but then having the little uh, teleporter or the little beam thingy here um, can help you get things at a distance, which is really a great thing. Uh, let's see, is there anything else in here that I can grab? And again, what I love, like first person shooters, the reason a lot of these don't work for me in virtual reality is because you're fixed to either a single point, you can't move at all, or you are to, oh, here we go, we got some drawers, um, or you are, ah, dang it, no, I don't want you to bring out my gun. Come here, buddy. All right, I got to back up here. That way it'll track better. Now, I, I can't, see, now I, I messed up my gun again. Okay, I'll grab that. Ooh, grab that. Give me back my gun. All right. Um, but what I was saying was, like, either it's a fixed teleport point where I can only get to certain points of the environment, and then if somebody, something is very far away from me, I can't hit it. It's very hard for me. There's no crosshair, so I'm not able to really, you know, know exactly where I'm aiming. It's difficult for me to aim down the sights of a weapon um, in VR. And so this game actually lets me do that. And yeah, I might have to let an enemy get closer to me and listen to the positional audio, but let's pick up my weapon again because I know we're going to need it. I forgot to tell you that this place swarms with artificial zombie-like things. <laughs> and now he tells me. Hey. Okay, I really want to... Give me more ammo. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I wish I really wish I could smoothly tell or smoothly turn that snap thing. Kinda doesn't quite do it for me. All right, so we've killed everybody in here. Um. Yeah, see, if I was, I, th I actually almost prefer to use my X and A buttons to turn because I've gotten used to that. If I could smoothly turn, I would use the analog stick, but I can't do that. So I know we're good for now. Let's put our gun away. Let's holster that. Now we can freely look around. Nothing on that table. Grab that and that. And that, replenish my ammo that I wasted. Well, not wasted, but that I used. Now, if I remember correctly, there was somewhere over here I found, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, I got a freaking glowy, like lightsaber thing. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now, for some reason, it doesn't seem like I... Yes, this is our way out. Just have to find the thing that opens these I gates. I don't think I can sheath this. No, see, I just drop it. So that's the problem with... Uh, unless I'm missing something. I even tried going like this, like sheathing it over my back like a... Um, like a, a sword. So if I go like this and let go... Nope, it just drops. 
so I'll pick it up again and I happen to know that we need to go this way for now and I'm gonna use my melee weapon because that way I don't have to waste ammo I like my little glowy hey buddy bring it now I kind of wish there was a little bit more a little bit of vibration but I wish there was like a little bit more just like you know like a really nice rumble when you cleave some zombies head off grab that oh what is that okay whatever it is I'm full so let's open this door and okay got it so now after a while that noise yeah that happened to me last night too um the noise just kind of went away so i don't know if that i don't know if like it's running on and i mean it's still glowy i can still use it um it, it, and it, I, especially the glowy one like this i kind of wish that if i went like it would kind of make like a you know it's, it's it's a lightsaber come on it's like a essentially is what it is so nothing in there for me How about you ah hey now this I will stand up because this is so this this would be a little bit hard if you were in a wheelchair or something you wouldn't be able to get these top drawers um, unless you could stand up for a brief time, unfortunately. Um, okay, so we got whatever. What is that? Some kind of, I don't know, I don't know what that is, actually. Okay, well, whatever, it's red. Alright, I think we're done in here. Let's move across the hall. Oh yeah, okay, the room that's blocked off. It's got crates and stuff in front of it. So we're just gonna keep moving down this way. What we're aiming for is we gotta get a key card. Cause I happen to know across the room back on the other side, that big uh, open area that we were in earlier, um, there's this force field that we gotta turn off. Now. Come on. And it seems like, at least on the easy difficulty, the um, your health recharges. So if you don't take a lot of hits, uh, you can recharge your health, which is a great thing. I know on harder difficulties, you're more than likely not going to be able to do that. So again, I don't even have to reach. I can just I can beam it with my little uh, beam grabber tool, and we're good. Okay. Uh, can't go in there. Okay, we got more stuff here we can there we go ammo is us all right i still got my melee weapon hold on to it while i can because hey like i said if i don't have to use ammo hey guy bring it you want some too all right all right bring it you zombie bastard. It'd, kind of, it'd be cool if you could like cleave, like depending on how you cleaved your sword, like if you really, you know, you could just lob limbs off and stuff, that'd be pretty fun. Okay, we're almost there. I think it's in this door here um, that we're going to find... I got a key card. Okay. Oh, and here we got our first cabinet that we can play with. Now, let's see. Huh. Okay, apparently I'm full up. Hmm. 
And I'm not sure if it's random every time, like what's in each, uh, each cabinet or drawer. I don't think it is. I think it's actually So, how did you pretty... get in my head, hmm? Now let's play a game. Oh, fire. You think That's of something bad. as an answer, and I'll try to concentrate to hear it. I gotta find a sprinkler if system to get in there, probably. <laughs> if I... Fine. I think I heard you think, yes, sister. Okay, wander out back to our main room here. And look at that, you can see the, even the, you can see the mission uh, waypoint up there. So it's kind of telling you roughly which way to go, which is actually a really nice thing. What do we got here? Okay. Put it. Oh, right, now the flashlight I think this needs to be changed because I'm I'm naturally holding my hand like this. But you have to hold it you I don't know, like I, I feel like it it feels awkward the way that you have to turn your hand in order to point said flashlight ahead. It just doesn't, like, that's not how I would normally hold a flashlight. I would hold it more like this. I would have my hand like this. I don't know, like, it just... I'm not, I'm not sure how you would calibrate that, but... I mean, it's doable. It just feels really weird. Like, nobody holds... I wouldn't hold a flashlight like this. <laughs> I... Yeah, I don't know. Um, that's maybe something that I would also kind of look into because, like I said, it's usable, but it just feels sort of weird. Now, the other one thing that I will mention before I continue is I, I'm, I'm holding the, the grip buttons in on both of my controllers to hold, um, to hold these weapons. And occasionally I'll get it to where like what I would like to do is I'd like to be able to, once I hold up a weapon, I kind of wish that I could just, you know, hit the grip button. Like if I drop it here, I wish I could just grab it. But see, if I do that, it brings it to me, but then it drops right away. I have to continue holding it. So again, if somebody can't grip for a long time or sometimes you just don't want to, you know, grip it, I mean, I know it's realistic, like you're, you have to, you know, grip your hand around, but in a controller, it's not maybe quite as natural. So, you know, having that as a toggle, um, I, I've had it happen, but I, it's not clearly explained or it, maybe it doesn't consistently work. I'm not sure. But, whoa, what is, oh, okay. Oh, it's rolling around. Yeah. Okay. That's actually kind of funny. I chucked the flashlight. Is it just going to ro uh, ro rotate in um, forever here? Hey. <laughs> it was just rolling forever. Okay, that's interesting. But yeah, I, I would like an easier way. Like I said, I would just like to click this thing. And then I forgot if I bring now if I bring this up. Oh wait. Um, so I'm holding this. Oh, because I don't have the teleport on. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Alrighty. Let's move on forward. So again, if I needed to change. If I needed to charge up, these are health stations that can give me some much needed health. Now, I don't know if they are limited, like you can only use them so many times, or if it's just, you can, if you can make it to them, it'll recharge, I don't know. Uh, because like I said, my health recharges on easy, it would seem, so that's another bonus. And I look at it like, you know what? That's okay, because again, I'm, Having the easier difficulty means that I might have to get enemies closer to me to be able to aim well, or, you know, there's little things that can help compensate for not being able to see 
as much detail. So, here we have... Good job. You might be useful after all. Now, can you pull these levers? All right. Can do. All right. These other two I can't do anything with. At least it opened B3. B4 might be stuck from the other side. Let's have a look around in there. Okay. Now we're gonna have to go... Is it here? Uh, no. Ooh, what do we got here? Cool. Okay, we might have to go... What? What did you just think? You're a roller? The fuck? Hey, uh. don't call me deaf just because you can't think strong. Yes. Ah, a soldier. That at least makes sense. A little bit barbaric profession in these sophisticated times. Stay down, bub. You want some too, buddy? <laughs> Now again, um, I have gotten to the point where, like, so far, all the enemies have just been these dumb melee zombies. There are ones that do, and they, they well, they make reference to it anyway, um, where they've retained the ability to use weapons, so I've... I'm a genius, not a grunt. You this beeping really gets on my nerves. Our nerves, whatever. Yeah, there, do, there doesn't seem to be like... When you sound something, it doesn't feel impactful. Like, even the way they react, like, you know, it just kind of is like this... Dish, dish. Um, I guess I would go for something a little bit more... There's something in the feedback be it audio, visual, vibration, there's just something that's maybe a little lacking in the, in the, uh, when you melee something, you know, you want to feel it, you want to, it's just not, maybe not quite there yet. It's still fun, don't get me wrong, I'm still having a blast playing this. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm full of ammo, so. Yeah, um, I guess we're not going to use it. Um, like I said, I would rather keep using my melee as much as I can. Okay, that door can't open because it's all dark, darkened out. But we can. Hey! Oh, you're going you're gonna to run a little faster. Okay. Oh, you want some too? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can't take it anymore. Okay. Okay, uh, I got something. Not quite sure. It glowed green. Um, that, that was probably a good thing. Green is usually good. Got another tablet. You can read that if you wish, I'll, or you can pause it if you want to. There you go. So we're going through our residential uh, quarters, it would seem. I don't know if we're on a space station, a spaceship. I don't know where the hell we are. But nevertheless, we're exploring. And I'm sure that's going to be revealed to us as we go here. So let's take the right-hand side. Anybody? Nobody? Oh, he probably came out before. Uh, oh, that was a weird glitch. Okay. Uh, yep, can't carry it. Kind of a bummer you can only carry so much ammo. I see, and I couldn't really read it either. Um, I was trying to see what that actually was. That I just grabbed. So you see, there's our waypoint. We're getting close to it here. 
Let's... No, I don't care about that. Can't carry it anyway. Anybody? Hey. Hi, guys. I mean, I know I have plenty of ammo, so I could be using my ranged combat, but again, if I come back here, I don't know if I'm going to have to come back here later. Like, I know there was that room where we had the fire I, I could have put out somehow. Um, if I do, I kind of want to leave that stuff available because then I'll have resources. Oh, what is that? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, what else do we got in here? Oh, okay, we got a cabinet. Let's reach on in. Oh, yes, they trick you. Hey, dude, come out and play. I got a, I got a blade with your name on it. Hey, Bub, where the hell did you go? Uh, that was weird. He, like, derezzed or something. Okay. Okay, but yeah, when I was in here, I forgot about that. Yeah, that actually did surprise me that there was a zombie in that locker. Let's close this. There we go. At least some of the way. Okay, I think we're nearing... Oh, okay, now we get to the part where we need to use a flashlight. So, let's grab this awkwardly. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like... Yeah, it just feels weird, the way you hold it there. Now, I know there's going to be a few guys. Hey, buddy. Okay, that can't be good. And I think they come behind me, too. Inching my way forward. I got my glow stick. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Hey! You doing that? Ah! Anybody else want some? You jackass? Where do they come from, anyway? They come from, like, they drop down from the ceiling, or what? Huh, I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, let's... Move through the rest of the way here. Uh-oh. Hey! Dude! No! I said, down, boy! Down! Ooh. Heal! <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, I gotta back off. You done? Okay, you derezzed. Alright, I don't need that anymore, so I'll leave that by the door, in case I need it again. All right. Anything over here? Not really. All right, down this other hallway. Really, you're not gonna. And one way to pick it up anyway, probably. Yep, this should do it. It's Dr. Clark's. He had access to everything. Okay. Get out of here. Okay. Yeah, a couple little things in there. All right, well, I got a key card, which I think actually is going to... I'm going to use it in the middle of the room and all of it. Chaos is going to break loose here. 
I wonder if those aren't healing things. It's just I don't need them. Or if they maybe they increase my health. Uh, if there's any HUD element that I can't read, I'm not sure. But... So yeah, now we're gonna go up to the middle. Hey bud. Chop you. Anybody else? Oh right, this room. I haven't... I'm guessing we gotta come back here because look at this. Guess this trip is just getting I have no better. idea what the hell this is. It's creepy as hell looking. If I I've tried shooting it, I've tried slashing at it. It almost seems like some weird like you kill it and some portal will happen, or maybe it's I have I'm sure we'll learn eventually what the hell this is we're supposed to do. So that's again kind of why I'm not using all I'm using any ammo because if we're going back through here, I'm guessing their enemies are going to repopulate. And hey, I'll keep meleeing while I can. Why waste ammo if I don't have to? Now, there are actually, I haven't grabbed them, but occasionally you will find like pipes on the wall that you can pull down. Um, like you don't have to just use this glowy one. Um, you can use them as weapons too. And I'm trying to figure out, like I said, the other thing, like the weapon inventory. Um, I'm trying to remember how that worked. Because I brought up. Huh. Oh, I think it. Let me drop this for a second. Yeah, so if I hit the trigger without anything in my hand, I get a weapon selector. And the other thing, I mean, it makes sense, that, okay, weapons, but like, I wish I could, how do I add, like if I were to walk up to this, grab it, can I put this in, no. Like, I want to be able to put this into my inventory. Uh, and now I just went all weird, okay. And then, my other question is, I bring this up, and if I hit the grab button, it should automatically bring that to my hand. It doesn't. That's the way that I would think this should work. So I bring, I hold this up, I point, it glows, if I click the grip button, that should immediately have me trigger that weapon. Um, that's the way, I, like, I don't, I don't have any other weapons in this wheel here, so I don't really know. But I'm guessing, is this just like, once I have these weapons, this is what, if I select this, then when I grab my, what the hell? Okay, so then I, that's what I can holster. All right, let's grab my melee again. So there's a, there's a few, and it could be something with just that I'm not visually seeing, or I'm doing yeah, something stuck. Pull out that crowbar and let's get free, man. Like I'm doing something wrong. I don't know, but. Oh, okay, we got that. We got more ammo that I don't need. We got another health recharge. That's good to know. I'll play this on a harder difficulty. Can't open that. All right, so now Now that went away. <laughs> oh, weird. Huh. I think, yes, I can. 
can basically slow down time for you. This way you can do your thing. Go grunt smash. Hulk smash. Hell yeah. Now I'm not sure how you, like, I don't know how to manually trigger that from here on. Like he triggered it now, but is there, if there's a manual way that I can trigger that, I don't know. So now I've got a crowbar in my left hand, this glow stick in the, in the right hand, and I really wish I could holster these. Like the inventory thing is something I, I, I think that could be made a little bit more clear. Um, you know, I'd like, I'd like the option to be able to just tap the hold button or tap the grip button and hold without having to do that. But even just put, you know, being able to holster this, holster the, my both these melee weapons, I want to holster them and then have them appear. And then, like I said, the, me, the weapon wheel, when I aim at it and I hit the grip button, I should just, if I hold it, I should just be holding that weapon. But that doesn't appear the you way it works. I call you Grunt, do you? Are you good at doing these things? No, I'm good at... Beating when I say your name is killing me. Also, you don't really have a say in the matter. So, Grunt it is. Yeah, Grunt's fine. All right, now... Now some bad stuff is going to happen. Triggered whatever the hell this thing is. Good job, Grunt. Bringing an army of monsters. Ah, this is the best hi. thing you could have done to make my game even better. And there's a lot of them, too. Uh-oh. Running time. Kill it. Again. Oh, God. Oh, Hang on, I gotta recharge here. Chibis? Come on, boys. Kill that guy. We still got more. Hey, bud. Oh, come on. I slash you. Okay, are we done? Alright, then. So, I did whatever I was supposed to. We're getting... Okay, so I've been there. That's where we got the original key card. Uh... Blah, 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 blah. What? Okay, that's where we've already gone. I don't want to go there. I think... Oh. Oh, wait, is this where... Oh, right, this is, yeah, this is where we just came from, because here, yep, there's that uh, weird thing in that room, see? Okay. So I think we gotta go clear a Check something here. We'll wrap up the video here pretty quickly, but we're almost to the point where well no we got a little ways to go before i left off. okay this is new here's where we're supposed to go and we'll get another story thing pretty soon we'll introduce a character i think so i can imagine playing this on a higher difficulty level like where you don't have recharging health and you have to manage like i, I don't know if we on higher difficulties if your weapons break over time, I've had this weapon the whole time and it hasn't broken. So I've been treating it like a just a hack and slash, but pretty sure. Identification required. Yes, another locked door. Let's look for a way to open it. <laughs> okay. Good old sarcasm. Where would I be without it? And the game looks good, too. Like I said, it's an early access, but, pff, you know, aside from these little suggestions that I have, like, this is a really polished experience. I mean, I, it plays well. It looks good. It looks really good, actually. Um, 
yeah, I just, I really, really am liking this game so far. Oh, the network entry point. I've never used these things. Oh, put my right. hands on the console to enter. Okay, so I gotta put my weapons down for a moment. And I'll show you the other weird mechanic. So I put my hands on here. Now we go into this weird cyber thing. So to open the door, we have to connect the nodes to overwrite lockdown protocols. So I'm not sure which ones these all go to, but they will automatically... Okay, you don't go there. Okay, you go in the middle one. No. Okay, you go there. Come here, buddy. Uh, do you go there? Nope. You go up there. And, oops. Put it. Sometimes it does get stuck on there for some reason. That beat, would you stop it? Come here. Alright. Quit swinging. There we go. So there we go, we hooked I up our nodes. you got here through the network, and since it couldn't download you into an empty body, the system used mine! Thanks a lot. Not a problem, sir. Okay. Got my melee weapons again. And we have our noises, like we have so far. Uh, it'll go away shortly, but our glowy saber is making a noise. Oh, what is... Hold on. Oh. Oh, flash. Whoa! Hey, buddy. Whoa, you're glitching the hell out of there. Okay. Alright, let's go forward a little more. I can probably get to where I was. Merry Christmas and happy birthday. Let's stock up. Yep, so I don't really have to because of our recharge. But again, it's really good to know where, uh oh, or where these things are. Is there anything on the other side of this room? Uh, I don't think so. Oh wait, yes there is. Uh oh. Where are you? Hello, so you are alive. An impressive feat, I must admit. Oh no. Joe Hansen. Oh, yes, <laughs> I'm still in control. How would you like a little company? Uh, not... Oh, okay. Okay, we got company. How would I like company, he says. Okay, boys. Bring it! Ow. Slash you. That wasn't so bad. Ah. I heard you coming up behind me, dingus. Okay, looks like we gotta go through this door, but before, well, actually, yeah. Okay, hi guys. I wanna check over there in a minute. Ah. Down, sir. You zombie bastard. Anybody else coming that way? Nope. Okay. Yeah, this game just feels really good to play. I'm having a blast playing this. Uh. Ah, okay. Let's put one of those in my holster. Now I have a gun for both. For both. I'm sure that'll come in real handy. Uh, oh, what do we got over here? I think I went in here. Oh, this is... Okay, I just went in a big old circle. Hang on. I gotta go through here again. Okay, here is... I left off. We're gonna wrap up the video shortly, but I will get to show you guys another gun. I'm quite impressed. I expected you to be gutted in some utterly unremarkable situation. That would suit you perfectly. 
How, what, how are you still alive? How do you control them? None of your business. What's more interesting is that you were able to fight your way here. You are no good lady. No. Fat beast or... I might just be better than you expected. Too bad that you are on the wrong side of history, my friend. If I can help it, you will still die here. Without anyone ever knowing your name. Too bad that I won't die here, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'll get out of here just so you know. We'll see about that, Norman. Oh, look. The door's opening. Have fun. Alright, so as soon as we open this door, I happen to know that. Watch this. Oh, wait, maybe this isn't the door. Okay, we got a little longer to go. Identification Sake, required. Run. The only green <laughs> light is on the right. Oh, that's great. I, I I remember that from last night when I played this. Yeah. For fuck's sake. It's on the right. You want more? I was hoping I'd be able to get some more ammo in this room. Oh god. Better be. All right. So, okay, it might be the end of that hallway where I left off. Let me just check really fast. Uh, how's that? That doesn't sound good. Sounds like one of those. Sounds like one of those weird things that was in that room uh, that I don't know how to destroy. All right, forward, uh, forward march. Here we go. Ah, hi guys. Come on. Nice. The teleportation ability is manifesting in some of the subjects, and you just killed them off. Do you know how much these things cost to develop? <laughs> yeah, you can just crawl toward me all you want. You'll still be decapitated. Okay, grab whatever the hell that is. I, I keep thinking, oh, we're gonna quit here, but I just keep playing. Hey, that guy's dead. Oh, God. What do we got going here? Oh, 
No. Hey guys. You coming this way? I think you are. Hi. And now you're dead. I can only imagine, like, I do want to play this on a higher difficulty level just to see how quickly I get utterly destroyed and see what other changes there are. Oh. Okay, we killed that guy. Now this might be where I need to go like this, go like this. holster that is bugging the hell out of me. Ho ho! No, you get to be in my right hand. <laughs> oh, and I, I can get a pistol. Yeah, these guys, they, they just didn't shoot quick enough. Okay, we get some more ammo, I think. There's my sword still. All right, I got a gun. Okay, I like where this is going. And I love you can just lean, you can kind of... Oh man. Pick it up. Okay, get out of here, I don't care. Okay, I got my sword back. I want to use this weapon. Now, I don't want to use it a lot because again, I'm gonna, oh god dang it, see, I just need to be able to holster. So if I, nope. weapon. Give me ammo. Hey. Thank you. Oh. Alright. We got fire. That can't be good. So, let's head around the other side. Yeah, this game is... This game is just really great. I'm, I'm loving this. is kind of that's one thing I don't like about this band <laughs> my Apple watch is kind of getting loose okay see now when I unpause I'm not holding the button to grip. Oh, I got to grip now I'm holding it I don't know if that's a bug or if it's intentional but now I, I don't have to hold the trigger or the grip button which I love you want to go again? Yadoosh? 
Okay, let's drop this, even though I don't want to. Give me ammo, give me ammo. Let there be munitions for me. Come here, buddy. All right. So this is uncharted territory. I've never been here before. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here. Very, you know what? Actually, I think... Let's wrap it up here, because if I don't, I'm just going to keep playing. Um, nevertheless, that is a look at ATEC Cybernetic. As I stare at this nice new weapon that I got, I like. I like very much. But yeah, so not only gameplay-wise is it fun, um, it looks good. It's really fun to play and accessibility wise for low vision, kudos to you guys, kudos to the developers because I can't find my desk. <laughs> um, because everything, the options menus, you know, the dialogues, the tutorial, the tutorial text was all in world. Um, yeah, it's just really good um I, I said i hope the developers maybe do watch this and maybe tweak a couple of my suggestions in there um especially like with the movement and some of the inventory stuff like that but um yeah otherwise i'm gonna as soon as i stop recording this video i'm gonna keep playing because this game is i'm really starting to get into it so hope you guys enjoyed the video i definitely did uh if you liked the video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel like to see new subscribers so the, subscri the subscriber count is still going up which is great more people seeing the stuff uh, you can also follow me on mixer mixer.com slash bgfh i will do some streams there fairly regularly these last month or two uh, usually once or once a week or so and you can also follow me on twitter at bgfh79 i will also post there when I upload a new video for the channel or be a little bit before I go live on uh, Mixer. So that kind of a thing. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Congrats to the developers again for making this a more accessible experience for low vision users. And uh, talk to you guys again later.